Good morning, loves. Good morning, loves. Can you see, hubby? I don't know why it won't focus. Y'all, today is a little different morning. So, I was running late, so I'm like, I'm just gonna drop the girls off this morning. And I was like, let's vlog this week. This week is gonna be crazy. Nick starting a new job. Woo woo. Congratulations. And. Leave them brown hearts in the comments. <laughs> he said, leave them brown hearts in the comments. Yo, today's gonna be a crazy day, y'all. And I'm gonna take y'all along good day. And we're going to, you know, hit the ground running. We're gonna take whatever this week gotta give. We're gonna make the best of it. So, new beginnings, y'all. New beginnings, new journeys. And that's how we're gonna take it. So, I'm about to go take the girls to school. And then we'll go from there. And y'all, let's see how the day goes. <laughs> let's get to it. Y'all, so now we're waiting in the car rider line because mommy was late this morning. Mommy didn't want to wake up, so. I did want to wake up. You didn't want to wake up either? I did want to wake up. You did? I just, I didn't wake you up in time. So, yeah. So now we're waiting for the school to let them in, and then I'm going to head to school myself. Right now it is 7.50. And nobody's coming out. My class doesn't start till 9. So I have a good little bit of time. Did you vlog out? And my school's like 30 minutes away. I try to be there. Normally, if I drop them off at daycare, these are having kids, y'all. This is just having kids. Right no. I think they're going to start letting y'all in, y'all. Okay, but um, normally I drop them off at daycare, which I've seen in my previous videos, and then the daycare takes them to school for me, and that helps me out with my clinical days, and so I can go straight to the hospital, because the clinical days, I have to be there by 6.45, so the daycare opens up at 5.30, so, so I just do that for them. My throat. If you are new here, this channel is all about beauty locks, lifestyle vlogs, and we throw a little bit of nursing in there. And lately it's been all nursing, honestly, because I'm in my semester currently. But um, if that is something that you like to watch, come join the fam, y'all. Like there's more room for you to join the fam and have fun with us. Um, if you are an OG, drop them brown hearts and leave some love in them comments for someone that may need it today um we're gonna get through it today y'all this week <clears throat> this is my first time doing a weekly vlog so we're gonna see how this goes don't forget to like comment you see the kids fighting in the back don't forget to like comment and subscribe and leave some love in that comments and leave some love in those comments and let's get started stop Okay, so I just made it to school. Gonna go walk in. Um, just to give y'all a rundown, it is 8.43 right now. So today I'm supposed to have my med search one class and I'm supposed to have a rhythm and blues. It's supposed to be, which my OB instructor stated that it's supposed to be us doing IVs and stuff like that. Um. But I'll end up telling y'all what it really was about. Um, not saying she lying or anything, but I'm saying overall what it's about because I'm pretty sure it's not just IVs. She said some other stuff I just forgot. But I also have to wait for my um, clinical instructor 
to post my patient assignment. So I also have to go and get my patient's information for tomorrow because I have clinicals. So yeah, that's how today is going and let's go y'all. Because it's 843, I need to get in class. Hey y'all. So I just finished my med search class. I just finished my med search class, my lecture. So now I'm like snacking real quick before I have my next class. It's called Rhythm and Blues. It's supposed to be like a skills. That's what everybody's saying. It's supposed to be like skills or something. I am. But we were in there. Our next test is about fluid and electrolytes. So we were in there talking about the electrolyte balances, about potassium, sodium, magnesium, all that stuff, calcium. We were talking about all that and how it makes the body, like what it does to the body and stuff like that. Why is it so important? And as a nurse, what are the things you have to do? Okay. Y'all, my teacher stopped in the middle of teaching class and she was like, yo, help. Like, she was talking about my edges and stuff. She took them so, ooh, it's late. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. That's it. I'm not hungry. My class don't start till one. So I guess I'll study a little bit, but we'll go from there. All right, so I'm gonna study a little bit before my next class. I have an OB exam Wednesday. So normally, I guess, if I didn't have an exam or something, I probably would have went to, well, if I, okay, scratch that. Okay, so like I said, I have to go to this thing called Rhythm and Blues. It's like a simulation. But um, that doesn't happen until 1 o'clock. Right now, it's 11. It's 11.24. So I'm finna study until 1. Um, I have an OB exam Wednesday. So I'm going to study for my exam. I'm going to study for my exam and basically I have my study guide that I made over the weekend. I should have had it done by Friday, but hey, beggars can't be choosers and we here now, you know. I had a lot going on the prior week, which is unacceptable, me having this done so late, but it is what it is. So I got my study guide that I made and I'm going to pull up practice questions and from Quizlet and go from there and study. So, y'all about to watch me study. I go study with me. desk things that you have from Amazon but baby my coins are a little low right now so you gotta use your resource <laughs> ain't no desk
off now because I am recording my whole week. So I don't want the portion of me to. If y'all want study with me videos, like I know I posted a video on me doing um how I do my study guides and stuff like that. But um if y'all felt like that wasn't as in-depth as it as it needed, which I'm gonna put it in here in this video. Um go check that video out just how to organize nursing school but if that wasn't as clear as y'all wanted it to be it's more stuff y'all have questions about just let me know in the comments also don't forget to like comment and subscribe but and watch my videos to the end y'all like I literally I could be monetized but I don't get as much love as um people watching my videos all the way to the end so I would really appreciate if I could get y'all to watch all the way to the end. And if you feel like what I'm giving you is not what you're asking for, right? Put it in the comments, y'all. I'm here to give y'all what y'all want. I love, me personally, I love watching nursing videos. I love watching people go to um, clinicals. I love watching videos of people going to work a 12-hour shift as a nurse. I love videos like that. So I knew I wanted to create content like that. Um, especially me going through my journey with nursing. I literally loved watching videos of, um, this is my little five minute break because I was supposed to be studying. But I really love videos of like nursing students and they're showing from the beginning their first semester all the way to the point that they're graduated. Like, and practically y'all are growing with me by following me. And, um, you know, subscribing and, you know, commenting and going through the same thing. We're not going through it alone. Like, just knowing that you're not alone. That's that's that good feeling. You know, when I'm stressed out, like, I got a test coming up. I just, when I say, like, I just try to take everything with a grain of salt. And I'm trying my best just not to stress about the things that I can't and what I can't control. I have a test, so I have, it's 1138 now. So I have like a little time frame that I could study until my next um, class. Take advantage of it. When I get home, I have to be mom. I have to be wife. I don't have the time as I want. I can't just close myself up in the closet. Like my kids are not 15. Like my kids are small. So I have to give them that love and attention. And yes, my husband is there, but um, He's starting a new job. He has a new journey. He has to think of. So it's a lot. It's a lot of adjustment that comes with nursing school. And it's a lot of trying to balance everything. But like I said, um, the next time I'll talk to y'all is probably when I got back in the car. Get back in the car because I have to go to the hospital later to go get my patient assignment. And get all the paperwork for my patient. So I might videotape that. You know, get a little sneak, sneaky link. Yeah, that sneaky link up in there. Because you know you ain't supposed to be videotaping in no hospital. But yeah, I'm about to get a study in y'all because I can ramble and go on. But um, yes, help your girl out. Watch to the end. All right, y'all. So I just got out of the Rhythm and Blues. I'm already at the hospital. I jumped in the car. I'm like, let me hurry up and go because I'm, I'm trying to get home. So now I just got to the hospital and I am about to go in and get my patient assignment, which I got to get my pre-planning done. So I'm about to go get my patient assignment and go from there. My stomach hurts. My stomach hurt y'all. It like really hurts. So, I'm gonna go run in here. Oh my gosh. So. And I'm hungry. I haven't really been eating like I'm supposed to be eating, so. That's that too. But, so I got my pen. And my pencil. Alright. Now I'm gonna go walk this street and go do that. 
and fight over computers with nurses. Y'all, I just finished. I'm on the elevator to go home. I'm so tired. So tired. next morning oh it is the next morning it is tuesday morning and your girl is 6 30 um we have to be here by 6 45 so today is the clinical day for me and i have another clinical day friday so thursdays are my days off and tomorrow is my exam day for ob so yeah every day like today clinical i try my best whenever i can get a chance to study to study because of the fact i have an exam the following day so we're gonna have a good day god's gonna guide us he's gonna order our steps <sighs> no stress no anxiety no worries right now i'm dealing with a lot of stuff um financially i'm not where i want to be right now but I'm putting it in God's hands. Being a nursing student, this crap is not cheap. You spending money left and right. And it seems like every semester it's always something. But I know the God I serve owns many mansions. <laughs> like my sister would say. But y'all, we're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this. And that's like the devil. He just wants you to worry and have anxiety about things that don't even matter right now. Like when it's time to worry about that, we'll worry about that. But baby, guess what? It's clinical time. It's clinical time. <laughs> I love you guys. And let's get to this clinical day. <laughs> but um I just got out of clinical now I'm gonna go home and probably study because I got an exam tomorrow and go from there today in clinical I didn't get to take the NG tube out this time but my nurse did I was able I had a sickle cell patient so I basically pulled his um blood for his type and screen she said it was called something else i think it was called like a type and screen we had to get for him because he has to have a blood transfusion so we had to do that today um i had to do a lot of cool things today y'all i did my first trach today suctioning a trach cleaning a trach like um that was pretty cool took the ng tube out and i see my first peg tube today it was today was a lot of fun now i'm finna to take my behind home so i can study because like i said i have a test tomorrow so we're gonna study and figure out what we're gonna eat for dinner tonight and then i have to go get my kids it is 158 so she let us out early today. It's usually we don't get out until like 2.45, but she let us out early today because we've been working hard. So I'll take that. Happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Guess what day it is? It's exam day, y'all. I have my OB exam today. So... Like, um, we ready, but the nerves still kind of take over us and we still be nervous like a little bit, but 
God, we just ask that God supersedes every feeling that I can ever feel to make me feel any type of way during this test that is negative. And I just pray that the Holy Spirit can go before us and anoint that pencil <laughs> that we use and that highlighter that we use. And I just pray that he's able to guide me during this test. Guide you if you have exams coming up or you're nervous about things. Like, I just pray that God, you know, goes before you. I pray that his spirit goes before you and lays the foundation so there's no nerves, there's no anxiety, there's no stress. Because at the end of the day, everything's everything that's meant to be will happen. So, according to his will for your life, it sucks that sometimes it's not what we want, but... It's what his will is for our lives, y'all. And yeah, so we got a test today. I have two classes today. I have med surge. I have med surge at nine. It is 824, so my class don't start till nine. Um, I got here at eight o'clock. I know, don't judge me, don't judge me. I come early so I can sit in my car and I can, I literally, this is not something I did just because I'm making a YouTube video. I literally show up early. I drop my girls off at school and I take my butt to school because the way my life is set up, if I'm running behind, I'm gonna be late, late because I got kids. So, and shout out to the mothers. Shout out to the mothers that are out here going to school, getting it because I don't think a lot of people, you know, call me sensitive, call me what you want. But every time you bring up the conversation, like, oh, like if someone says like, oh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go in the morning or something like that. Bear with me. People love to say like, if I be like, oh, I can't do that because I have kids. The first thing people say is, I don't see how you do it with kids. I don't see how you in nursing school with kids. I feel like that is so insensitive because that's my reality. Obviously it's able to be done. People have done it before. People have done it with six kids. People have done it with eight kids. It depends on, you know, your situation. It has been done and it, it really determines how bad do you want it. And I feel like People love to, like, oh, this is something. I'm pretty sure it's easy when you straight out of high school and you have no responsibility. Yes, you have nothing but time. And, you know, but I'm not, I'm not going to do the comparison. I'm not going to do comparison. The Holy Spirit just kind of grabbed me. I'm not going to do comparison. But I think people need to really think about what they say before they say it. I'm going to just leave that there. But I hope today, when I come back from this test, I'm going to tell y'all how it is. But I just pray I pass. That's where I'm at with it. I, I be wanting A's. I really do. I've been making mostly B's. But I, I be wanting A's. Um, but I'm really big on not sharing my grade. And a lot of people watch, like... Some people, they ain't going to tell me they sh they watch my YouTube. But um, some people from my class, they watch my YouTube. And I really don't like sharing my grades, y'all. I just feel like it. I was just talking to my husband about this earlier. Like, I deal with comparison sometimes. And you can sit there and act like you don't deal with it. It's okay. You can say, but I be convict. I convict myself. And the Holy Spirit convicts me all the time. Like, I do sometimes, which, and I catch myself mid, mid drift. I do kind of compare myself and that's why I can't talk to people about grades. I can't talk about tests. I can't talk about, oh, how you felt about that test. I don't want to be in those conversations. I don't want to be in those environments. I don't want to be in those spaces where people are talking about that because then you're going to begin to tell me, oh, I got that right. And I picked a different answer and I got that question wrong. So now I'm thinking like, dang, why you ain't, why you, now I'm hard on myself when I thought that answer was correct. So to avoid that, 
I choose the environments that I want to be around. I choose the environment and the people that I choose. Ugh. I choose people I want to be around. And if, like, because there's some people that I talk to and it's like casual, like, oh, hey, girl, you know, how you doing? Good. And we can find ourselves in this. How you felt about that test? Girl, I don't even want to talk about it. That's what I do. I'll be like, or I'll be like, I don't like to lie because <laughs> lying is a sin but i'll be like girl i don't even want to talk about it and i leave it at that because i don't want to put myself in that space and that's a boundary for me so that's just something y'all look how long my hair got my hair is getting so long but yeah i'm about to get back to studying y'all because y'all are <gasps> Mia left her lunchbox. My baby left her lunchbox. Aww. Wish me luck on this test. So, y'all, I just got out of my test. It didn't go as I wanted. But I passed. Um... And she's giving back points. So if I, she's giving four points. So four points back. So y'all four points make a huge difference. Our school, if you haven't seen my previous videos, our school, an 80, baby, that's a C. And a lot of people laugh when I tell them that, but seriously, you say, oh, I made an 80 and at a school, that's like, oh, that's a B, you did really good. Here, I can make an 80 and that's a C. Like, I work, you know how many questions, like, y'all, for real, for real. How many questions you get wrong and then that's considered still a C? That's crazy. But, um, yeah, I passed the test. Um, next time, I'm just gonna have to work harder I'm gonna have to work harder. Um, it was not what I wanted to make. I'm trying to make an A, y'all. <laughs> I'm so hard on myself, I'm just trying to make an A. And it's just not happening. But it is what it is, because in order to have an A, you have to make, I think it's a 94. You have to make a 94 to be considered an A. 80 to a 86 a 86 is considered wait i think a 86 is considered a, a b so i think it's 80 to 85 is a c 86 to 90 no it's 92 i think something like that y'all 80 um you get what i'm trying to say to 92 is basically a um that's a b and then, nine, I guess 93, or not, it might be to 93, and 94 to 100, that's A. So that really don't give you much space to have an A. But I passed, that's all that matter. You know, we just trying to get that RN behind our name. We're not trying to get valid, uh, if you trying to get valid Victorian, good for you. I just got kids and family to provide for. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to graduate, you know? especially with everything I've already done went through with this program like I'm just trying to pass y'all and I'm trying to pass in the best way I can so um today I have to go to my kids have gymnastics today it's Wednesday yay my kids have gymnastics and it's a test day so I am going to relax a little bit every now and then I'll probably um start reading or something like that for this next test I got coming up I got a mass search test next Wednesday so I'll start studying for that and throw a little bit of OB in there and throw a little bit of math in there because I have a health calculations exam coming up as well in October so I kind of want to be prepared for that good morning y'all so today is Friday yesterday I did not record I enjoyed my day off from 
well i didn't do anything enjoyable but study but today i have my last clinical for the um week i normally have clinical like y'all seen tuesday and i have one on friday thursday is like my free day like i've said before but um yeah so today is my ob clinical last week i was in labor and delivery this week i don't know exactly where i'm gonna be at so yeah um thoughts on my clinical it's kind of it's kind of boring y'all <laughs> it is kind of boring to me um these like they do stuff but their patient ratio is less they get like two or three depending on the day and they said fridays they're not busy because their patients the doctors don't schedule stuff on fridays so they can have the weekend off and stuff so it literally y'all when i say we just be sitting there twiddling our thumbs because there's nothing really, really we can do. But y'all, I will talk to y'all later. Um, gonna take my blood in here, and I'll tell y'all how today go. Cause last week was my first day, so I didn't really know how the thing would probably actually go. So let's see how today goes. Have a good day. Wish me luck. Alright. Hey y'all. <laughs> so I don't know if I should conclude this video here. But y'all, today I was in the postpartum unit. So I basically gave baths today. I basically <sighs> when I get home, I got so much I gotta do. Let me get my point to Like, who are you with this long hair? My daughter laughs at me because her hair is down to her butt. And she's like, mommy, your hair is not long. Okay. Not everybody got long hair today, but Missy. But, yeah. Okay, I'm totally deaf. But, y'all, today was a good day. Today was a good day. I gave baths. Well, I, gave, I helped give a shower to a lady that had a hysterectomy. Um, I had three patients today. One had a hysterectomy. One had a, what else? One was having her second baby and then I had another patient, it was her first baby. And all I had to do was give vitals. I had to get 8 a.m. vitals and 12 o'clock vitals. Um, I'm looking off y'all, cause I'm just looking at people, looking at me, looking at them, looking at me, looking you looking at you looking at me looking at we like get out my car <laughs> but yeah so that's all i did today um the vitals shower and like just assist the um nurses if they needed anything just help them out but yeah it gets kind of hard to like this is my first time doing the weekly vlog but it gets kind of hard because it's like i don't i want to bring my phone inside of the facilities but i don't want to get in trouble so i love y'all but baby i can't do this if i'm you know in trouble where i get kicked out of the program because i recorded something i'm not supposed to so i try to be very cautious when i do record stuff um I might go try to do this again another week, but I'm gonna see how this video does and go from there. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, this channel is all about beauty locks, lifestyle vlogs, y'all. So join the fam, like join the fam, like leave love in the comments. I really do enjoy creating content like this. I create, I love nursing content. I want to be a nurse. I'm like my teacher today. She was like, if you want to be an OR nurse, just let me know. Yeah, it's been crossing my mind, y'all. I'm thinking about the OR. And if you haven't noticed, I work, 
currently in the ER. I'm thinking about the OR because I kind of want like to be in the surgery. I think I'm so fascinated with like blood and gooey stuff and all the crazy stuff. I'm fascinated with all that. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see y'all at the next video. Love you.